Hi, my name is Zach Weber with Reform Prosthetics. And I wanted to go over this latest prosthetic socket that we did for a patient. It turned out really nice. Um, the patient elected to go to a pin lock system versus a vacuum system. Um, some of the typical challenges of a vacuum system is that you can get a hole in the sleeve and compromise the suspension. And then obviously you limit knee range of motion with having two layers of gel running across your sleeve. But the patient wanted to get rid of that. So we went with this Coyote airlock. Um, a locking system is pretty common. The reason we chose an airlock is if we ever do need to add a sleeve later for a prolonged run, you know, three to five to 10 miles, I think the patient is still gonna appreciate a suction suspension mechanism in addition to the pin. The other thing we've done um, is corrugate the inside of the socket or texturize, and that'll provide some grip to the gel liner. One of the things that's wrong with the pin lock system is they have some more movement associated with your walking. That movement can be rotational, it can be pistoning, and with that movement, you have extra pressure. So we're trying to minimize that as much as possible with the interface of the socket having a texture. The patient has a pretty short limb, as you can see. Um, it's about a four and a half inch limb. But the, what we did, what we've had some challenges with in the past is fibular head pressure. And I anticipated that being more problematic with the pin lock because of the anticipated increased movement. In this patient's particular case, when he flexes his knee, his fibular head actually moves posterior and proximal probably a quarter of an inch. It would need to allow that sliding motion to occur. So what we've done is we have thinned out our flexible here this is right over the fibular head. And when we thin it out, we create some more flexibility, but it, it's more flexible into an OSER pad here. This is a low durometer silicone pad. So once the patient is fully weight bearing, carrying weights, um, leg press, you name it, he is sinking down into a pad that is much more comfortable for him. The other thing we've done uh, with this design is we increase the height of the trim lines mediolaterally, and that really encompasses around his condyles nicely. We included this P-Lite pad, so when he's sliding into the socket, um, that carbon fiber isn't hurting the inside part of his knee as he's getting down in there. So it, it offers a little bit of cushioning on the medial side. Um, sometimes we do that, sometimes we don't, but we're looking forward to this prosthetic socket. I think the patient's gonna be very pleased and we'll keep you guys up to date. Thanks.